Today, we will talk about the barbell strategy in investing. The barbell is a unique investment strategy used primarily in fixed income portfolios. It is a strategy where half of the portfolio holds long-term bonds while the other half contains short-term bonds. The name of the strategy comes from the visual representation of a barbell, with heavily weighted holdings at both ends of the maturity timeline. In other words, the barbell strategy consists of a large number of short-term holdings and long-term maturities, with little or nothing in intermediate holdings. With the barbell strategy, investors hold a mix of short-term bonds, which mature in 5 years or less, and long-term bonds with maturities of 10 years or more. Long-term bonds typically pay higher yields to compensate the investor for taking on the risk of a longer holding period. However, all fixed-rate bonds carry interest rate risk, which occurs when market interest rates are rising. Long-term bonds carry higher interest rate risk than short-term bonds, as the investor may earn a lower yield compared to the market in a rising rate environment. Traditionally, the barbell strategy was used for fixed income investments, but it can also be applied to a mix of risky and low-risk assets, or stocks. The weightings for the bonds on both sides of the barbell don't have to be fixed at 50%. The barbell strategy also offers flexibility, as the allocation can be adjusted as market conditions require. The barbell strategy aims to take advantage of current rates by investing in short-term bonds, while also benefiting from the higher yields of long-term bonds. The strategy requires frequent monitoring, as short-term bonds must be continuously rolled over into other short-term instruments as they mature. The strategy also offers diversification and reduces risk while retaining the potential for higher returns, along with providing liquidity and flexibility for the investor. Despite the benefits, the barbell strategy carries some risks, such as interest rate risk, inflation risk, and reinvestment risk. Investors may also miss out on higher yields for intermediate maturities and may be stuck with low yields on long-term bonds if rates rise. The strategy requires continuous monitoring and active portfolio management to mitigate these risks. For example, a barbell strategy might consist of 50% safe, conservative investments such as treasury bonds and 50% stocks. During a broad market rally, the investor can realize gains on the equity holdings and allocate the proceeds to low-risk fixed income securities, adjusting their portfolio allocation as market conditions change. Here are two key takeaways. 1. The barbell strategy allows investors to take advantage of current interest rates by investing in short-term bonds, while also benefiting from the higher yields of holding long-term bonds. 2. There are several risks associated with using a barbell strategy, such as interest rate risk and inflation risk. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.